Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Ask of AT. I hope you guys enjoyed last week's episode because I surely did where we talked about the Ukrainian students. So this episode, today's episode, we're still going to stick with the students but we're shifting focus to Indian students and how, what are their rights and liabilities uh, when they come to the U.S. with fake degrees uh, pursuing masters. So, I would like to welcome Mr. Srinivas Rao Kaviti once more to our show. Hello, Mr. Kaviti. How are you doing today? Uh, hi, uh, welcome back to Ask uh, Kaviti episodes. Uh, welcome back again in uh, Mana TV International. Thanks for tuning yourself to Mana TV International. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, the Indian students, uh, those who are coming to America with fake degrees to pursue their masters and those who are coming to America to even get an H-1B with this, uh, those fake certifications. Uh, lately, um, there's a big scam going on in India that students uh, from India, they've been coming to American universities to pursue their master's degree in computer science um, by uh, using fake uh, bachelor's degrees in India. Um, there have been a lot of calls to our firm that uh, people are coming to America and the universities in America are being uh, notified by the Indian uh, police authorities that uh, students who came to America with fake degrees, the universities in America are terminating their uh, student status and uh, they are possibly reporting uh, to the immigration police serious offense. This is also called felony. When you're making an oath, because when you're making an application to the US embassy, that means you're saying, you're indicating that you have education, you completed your education, you're coming to pursue master's degree. That means you're misrepresenting to the US government. That means you're, you know, you're lying on oath. That's a serious offense. Anytime when you lie to a government agencies, that is a felony. That itself is a ground for your, that's an immigration violation. That itself is a ground for your visa cancellation. So there are two things. One is the school suspends you, and the two, the U.S. government could uh, penalize you. They could even start uh, a criminal prosecution as against you for the student. So it is a very serious matter. Students have to take this very seriously, that it's not just uh, you're getting suspended or terminated from the school or uh, services terminating you. The government uh, agencies, even the FBI or ICE, Immigration and Custom Enforcement, or the local police can even go after you for prosecuting you. And what would happen to their immigration status? The you will your student visa gets terminated. That means you will become out of status, and uh, that is also called you become undocumented alien. That means you are running the risk of living in America unlawfully. If you get arrested, the immigration can arrest you and put you in uh, immigration detention center, and the immigration uh, authorities can initiate uh, removal proceedings, that means deportation proceedings, they could remove you forcefully from this country. Uh, before that, you could even end up in jail for some time for committing serious crimes as against the U.S. education institutions and as, as against the U.S. government. So it's a pretty serious crime. Okay, so what will happen to them in the U.S.A. universities when they do come here? In the U.S. universities, uh, the schools will uh, notify the other schools as well. If you're trying to change from one school, if the school uh, terminates your status or if they have given you a notice saying that, hey, we found that your education from back home, from India or from overseas, it's a fake degree. They could even notify to other schools if you're trying to transfer to another school. So it's a pretty serious uh, business that uh, schools will not be happy that you misrepresented you use some fake documentation to obtain admissions in uh, U.S. education institutions. Uh, can they change their student status to any other visa status? You could uh, change your student status to any other status. However, before your termination of your student status. Normally, when you uh, make an application to the immigration authorities, for changing of your status from student status to a work status or if you intend to get married or if you're you know applying for some other status if you have a family here the immigration is going to look at your background that under what visa you came 
and um, they will check your whereabouts. They will check it from the education institution where you come from. And if they find out that you have uh, committed a crime, a felony, that you came uh, unlawfully into this country, that itself will be a ground that there's a possibility that immigration might not approve your change of status even, or even adjustment of status. So you're running a risk of uh, a serious uh, immigration uh, uh, crime or immigration violation. Will these students be arrested in USA? Serious offense in India too, yes. Can they go to any other country after they've been deported to India? And what is the punishment in the USA or in India? When, you, when you're deported back to India, uh, deportation is an international crime. Uh, that, means, that means you have committed a crime in another foreign country. Once you committed a crime in a foreign country, the private and public international law says that because you've uh, perpetrated a fraud on a country, country means a sovereign, which is, means a government. When you perpetrated a fraud on a government, once you're deported back to your own home country, that means you will lose the privilege of traveling overseas. What will happen if you're deported back to India, you can never get another passport. The Indian government will not give you a passport to travel because international travel is not a right. It's a privilege you have. Those privileges get suspended and uh, you will not be able to go to any other country. Once the passport has been, the Indian government will confiscate your passport because passport is a government document and the, the government of India owns that. That is the property of the government of India or for so that matter, the passport is the property of different governments. So you will lose the privilege of getting another passport. You will not be able to travel to any other country, either for education or for work, or even if you get married, you'll not be able to get a green card or travel to any other part of the world. Even if you have any family members in overseas, even if they sponsor you, you will not be able to go abroad. Why? Because in, under the public international law, the countries have, uh, under the United Nations, they have certain conventions that if your national is committing, a, if your citizen is committing a crime as against a foreign government, um, the governments do respect uh, the international laws you will not be able to go. You will be barred from traveling internationally. You could travel within the country, but you might not be able to travel internationally. So it's a very serious thing. Can they ever come back to America once they get deported? Once you're deported to India from any part of the world, um, the American government uh, will look you as, a, uh, as an offender. Uh, that means you have committed a crime. And in the, in, the, in the scenario that you have committed a crime as against the US government as, and as against the US education institutions, so you will be never allowed to come back to America. And uh, if somebody wants to do that, then they have to apply for a waiver. Getting a waiver is very tough. You have to show a lot of the eyes. You can hire lawyers to practice immigration law. If the local police arrest you under the local law, you can hire local lawyers who practice uh, the local criminal law. So there are lawyers all over the country and there are some websites you can go and check it out. Hire some competent lawyers who practice criminal law and you could be represented by criminal lawyers so that you'll have a fair hearing. So viewers, I hope you had an interesting time today with us um, hearing all this information that Mr. Kaviti shared with us today. And I would uh, like to ask Mr. Kaviti again if they have something important to share with us and um, any advice or anything else they would like to share with our viewers? Um, guys, uh, students who are approaching uh, foreign universities uh, from India or any part of the world, this message for the students, uh, don't risk your lives by using fake degrees because you could be penalized, you could be punished uh, both in America or in India, your foreign country. You don't want to do some silly mistakes by using fake degrees and by, uh, you know, because there are so many immigration agents, education consulting companies, especially in India, you know, they don't care when you take uh, fake de degrees, they will apply and get you an I-20s. So better be careful, don't use such a, don't fabricate such uh, fake degrees and try to approach US embassies or any foreign embassies or foreign education institutions. Uh, just by doing this, it's going to jeopardize your life and it's going to jeopardize your rights of getting education, getting employment 
and migrating to other countries. So this message, we are not trying to scare off uh, any international students, but um, uh, I'm just sharing my wisdom with uh, students and to their parents. Whoever is uh, watching this uh, show, please be careful. And we are only just sharing um, the uh, laws. Uh, please approach competent lawyers if you get in trouble uh, with law. And uh, don't take this as a legal advice. Approach some competent lawyers. We're not trying to solicit business. And if you have any questions, please get in touch with us. And uh, this, inf this video is only for just information purposes. And we're not trying to scare anybody. This is only for information and education purposes. And please don't treat this as a, an attorney-client. And uh, with my wisdom of law, I'm just sharing my uh, wisdom because a lot of uh, people are calling our firm these days and we're getting calls from India, we're getting calls from students from all over America. And um, there are so many schools that are investigating and uh, the government of America is investigating and even the Indian police is investigating. They're doing, um, they're registering cases, first information reports, and they're trying to do lookout notices in India. They're trying to give the cases to special investigative agencies in India. So the Indian police might get in touch with the American police or even the American education institution. For that matter, even to any of the foreign countries. So guys, be, be, better be careful and uh, be responsible. And don't uh, play up with uh, laws and don't uh, fake uh, degrees and don't uh, uh, rescue to shortcuts and it will be very risky. So beware of this and try to share this uh, information to your friends and family and don't get anxious and this is only for information purposes and we're going to come up with more videos in Ask Averti and see you in the next uh, episode. Thanks uh, very much. So viewers, I hope you got some useful information today from Mr. Kaviti. I surely enjoyed this conversation a lot. And as a student, I would like to tell other students that please don't forge your degrees just to come into another country. It's not a good idea to play with your future like that. And you have to think about what lies ahead for you and your future. So if you do need help, please watch our episodes and keep up with us as we share more information with you. And I hope to see you next week.